Thank you so much for watching Tomofushi the Music. Today, I want to show you how to play three different levels on a little wing. Okay. Thank you so much for a lot of nice comment on my um, performance of uh, Sunny, but also little wing. And uh, that was good. Um, okay, so first of all, you want to learn everything very very simple you have to know simple one the, the second level you want to know just a little bit more jazzy approach so that you have to learn jazzy voicings idea and as much as i can i explain okay and the third one just in case we go through triads because sometimes people say yes i know triads but then if i ask now smooth you know so just in case okay so And in between, I will show you a little bit my own phrasing and idea, okay? So, I'm using this guitar today, kanji guitar. It's really, really nice guitar. Hard to tell, handmade. I love this guitar. And interesting, I didn't change strings for a long time. I don't know, I, I don't know when I, tr I, I uh, changed. And last week, um, when I went to, to do uh, my Guitar Wisdom video, and I was going to play this one, but the string was really old, and okay, skip this one. Then I, I grabbed a different guitar, and, um, and I did it. But then, funny part is, um, I'm using this amp called Fender Sidekick um, 15R, you know, 15 reverb, which is really cheap transistor amp, and uh, I just got this one for fun, right? <laughs> And I plug in and I start playing. It sounds really good. Really, really good. And I decide to not use any pedal. I'm using a, a cheapest cable from Ibanez. Because it sounds fun. So I plug into this amp. Have a little bit of reverb on. But it's a simple transistor amp. Okay, so the first step we have to go. E minor 7. Like that, right? E minor seventh. G major, just a G, you know, third fret, like that, right? And then A minor or A minor seventh, whichever. Use, do you know this, right? Fifth fret, right? Then back to E minor. And then B minor. Original one, go to B flat major. But I go B flat minor. Just I, this part, I, I take a little bit more jazzy approach. A minor. And make sure you go to C. Sometimes C sus too. <laughs> I, I hit my hand. Yeah, like that. All right. G. F. And C. Now, now right here, I count. To, see, there's a there's a two two beats, and um, what I like to do everything simple. Right? From here, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and E minor. So when you hear, when you heard um, the backing track and um, in my performance, this is the first version. So the first chorus I play simple and second chorus I play a little jazzy. And here, maybe somebody say, hey Tomo, please show me an intro. See the thing is, anybody can teach intro, right? So why not? Watch Marty Music. He's the best. He's a great teacher. Justin's great too. But those guys already have amazing so many songs. So watch these guys, okay? And 
one of my former students, music is win. Music is win. Okay, Tyler Lawson. So he did that, I think, you know, uh, seven, eight different ways to do um, Little Wing. So again, more detail he does. So great. Everybody helping each other, right? So I'm just doing kind of point to point, right? So that, so what's happening is, you know, when I jam with um, Eric Gales, he, he said, let's play Little Wing, but I'm going to play a little bit different chord changes. So watch, watch out. That's all he said. Then he did the intro. I was listening. He did the... Already, right before, you know, he does F9, which is, he, he put, you know, 5, 7 over E minor. So, so I play B7 flat 13, root flat 7, major 3rd, flat 13. Like that, right? Then, here, minor 9. Really simple, E minor 9. If you do this, you become Tom Mish. Tom learned from a keyboard player, probably. Now here, G, no tension. I do major 7. Now, so this one, it's really tricky. This is A, G sharp, diminished 7. So the frets, Four, three, four, three. The reason is, so Eric Gales plays almost like a, thinking about five seven of two. Uh, I'm sorry, A minus seven because see, that's how we think jazz. We put a lot of five seven everywhere. Now, so this one, if you play flat nine, like jazz, it's sharp nine flat nine. So then this G sharp diminished seventh become Dominant 7, basically E7 flat 9. If you want to know these, I have lesson at the Guitar Wisdom. A lot of uh, lessons. So, now here. This is nice. So this is extension, sort of. I use this on um, Just Funky too. So here, watch. Sort of 5, 7, and... Uh, Eight, right? So now here, that's a five. Wait a minute. <laughs> root. I'm sorry. Root fifth root, right? So the, this is the third. So like this. This is really useful. Very useful. Look at that. Just a little longer. Yes, yes. This is nice. Okay. So like this. Like. So now, diminish. This is diminish, very useful, like this. One, two, three, three seconds. Okay, so diminish. E minor. Now here, C13 and nine, like this. So here, 8, 8, 9, 10, 10. So that, Eric Gales, I can see he plays jazz, he plays gospel music, understand those tensions. This is called sub 5, really reserve half step down. So I just, you know, uh, eliminate details because m more, we have to learn song first, you know. Minor 9. Then Eric Gales plays ninth like that. Then G. Right there, he make kind of bluesy. So that's why that you know backing track I did like this. I play hideaway chord. Like that, you know. So like, like this kind of, right? So that's 
15th fret, 14th, 12th, and 15th. So what's happening is G plus 7, this is key of, G, I mean, not key of G, I mean, G, G seventh, plus 7, 9, major third and root, you know, so like that. So like, so the jazzy version, I can play like the flat 13, like, or Eric gives us F, F9, 13, you know. So like that, you see, it's very jazzy. So what's happening is, you want to learn phrasing, but before the phrase, you really have to know the triads. Why? Because if you know triads, anywhere you can play basic chord sounds. So how about this one? E minor. G A minor E minor B minor B flat minor A minor Continue C Direction change a little bit G F C D So this way G, F, C, D. E minor, E minor pen on a little bit. Still, I'm listening or here, you know, uh, thinking about uh, chord changes. So you see, you really have to um, follow the chord changes. You see, um, I can show you more phrasing, of course, of course. But first, you have to really nail down. You see that those triads, E minor, G. A minor. You see? E minor. B minor. A minor to C. G. F. C. 
then D. So I want to I want to keep going, but I think it, you know you understand. First, play something really simple, you know, simple chord. Is good. Like that. How's that? 
So I just improvise a little bit, but you see, I'm just feeding chord progression all the time form. So that's why I was gonna do, you know, play with the backing track so you can you can hear my improvisation. But as you hear, without the backing track, I can show you chord changes because I know chord changes. So that's why I did three levels, but last one's very, very important. You have to play just a triads. Then maybe a little bit chromaticism around the triads. If you add one more note, you can make seventh chord. You know, you can create that. But uh, you don't have to really create anything too difficult or special. Just you need a triads. And then just here, if you push yourself a little bit more rhythmic chromaticism and make sure don't sustain the notes too long because if you do it sounds like just like a guitar player play notes sustain play notes sustain you know what i mean especially if you play back in track that's you have to be careful that's why i don't teach scale or patterns if you go like see that that's no rhythm because of scale focusing but jazz that one and this amp actually cool because if you push a little bit you hear it if you push it's almost a breaks up because the speaker is really old and really beat up so this amp it's I know this this is actually good for practicing for me because if I pick hard it sounds horrible so you have to pick softer so I thought that's why I'm using No noise on the finger. I can go on more and more because it's so much fun playing for you. Thanks so much for watching again. And uh, here, write any any request, comment, anything you want, and uh, I'll read. And uh, I come up more fun idea. So one more time, this is my kanji guitar. Very nice. See, this go hard tail, no tremolo. See like that. Cool, huh? Just a little bit. 
I don't know I'm doing how long and I think I think before this video maybe you saw um, announcement about guitar giveaway so please enter and you know write a comment not here that video okay all right so see you soon take care